Hi, Al at Hanksters in Daytona Beach, Florida. Got another really special guest for you here. An LT1 style 1969 Chevy Nova. Looks just like a Yanko. We got the correct Yanko striping on it. it says LT1 on a hood. Now this wasn't available until 1970, this striping and the LT1 engine in a Yanko car. This one being a 69, that's not correct per se, but it's not a real Yanko either. So we added a lot of pizzazz to it, giving it the Chevy striping. It does appear to be an LT1 style motor in it, so we're going to show you that. Again, you can see the LT1 striping, the designation for a 1970 style Yanko Nova. It says deuce on the front. When you open the hood, you see what appears to be a 1970 LT1 engine. Has the correct valve pan covers. I said it has a set of long tube, large diameter uh, ceramic coated headers. It has power steering. It has power brakes. It has a, a high flow uh, radiator on it. it. Has a Holly. It does have a single plenum X type Holly intake manifold on it, which wouldn't have been the correct in intake for a 70 LT1. It would have been an upgrade for that intake manifold. This car has that. Fantastic running car. Over and above all of this, it does have a double A-arm chrome molly front suspension system on this car, which we'll show you in more detail when we do the undercarriage uh, photos and presentation. But what you're looking at here is a duplication of a LT1 Yanko Chevy Deuce. The nicest representation you could hope to find on one. See, the engine compartment is just incredible the way it looks, as it would have in 1970, 69, for a small block uh, LT1 Nova. Let's go around the car and see what we got. Okay, going across the front of our Yanko style Nova LT1. Paint on this car is just absolutely gorgeous. I don't see any cloudiness or any fading or anything anywhere in the paint job in this car. The hood fitment you can see is just as nice as can possibly be on both sides. You got a nice eighth inch gap and the towel area the same way. Just as nice as you'd ever hope to find one. The grill, none of the aluminum is uh, disrupted on it. it, it it's a nice, uh, uh, nice grill with no marks, no dings, no rock chips or anything else on it. The filler panel it's all real nice and intact and silver, the, the correct color it's supposed to be. Chrome on the bumper, you can see it's a foot deep. Parking lights, same way, nice and clean and clear. Nice amber color, uh, no cloudiness whatsoever to them. The uh, uh, side ac ac accents on this uh, vehicle, the uh, black in it is just as nice as can be. Uh, none of it's chipped out or marked out or, or worn off of any way. Just a beautiful front end on this car. I don't see anything that's out of line. I don't see anything that's incorrect on it. LT1 designation across the hood, which really gives it a lot of look, a lot of pop to this car and the color. Front end of this car is gorgeous. All right, going down the driver's side of our Yanko style Chevy Deuce Nova. Side marker light, really, really nice. Uh, the trim around it is nice. This particular car does have the factory side molding on it, you know, door edge guard, whatever you want to call it down the side. So when people open their doors up, it doesn't bang the car. But the striping, the Yanko striping is put on above that. Torque thrust polished style wheels that would have been Argent from uh, Yanko in 1969-70. But these are polished style, the same wheel basically, but uh, polished style. Um, discs in the front. Yanko designation on the front fender, correct for 1969, uh, little louvers, Nova plate is just as nice as can be, paint is gorgeous on this car, front fender to the uh, door is absolutely gorgeous, correct wiper arms, incorrect blades, they're an updated uh, more modern blade, the front windshield in this car is not tinted. I don't know why it isn't, but it isn't. The side windows, however, are. It's a little confusing there, but this was probably replaced at some point of its life, and they chose not to use a, um, 
tinted one and just went with the standard glass. At any rate, it has a good windshield tinted with no marks on it. Mirror on this car is just gorgeous, and there is a right one also. Uh, and correct for 1969-70 also. Great mirror. The uh, whiskers are the original whiskers on this car. They have not been replaced. It's been painted up too. car appears to be one repaint, and that's it. The vinyl top is the original vinyl top. Hard to believe, but the thing is still unmarked from 1969. There's no shrinkage to it. Uh, there's no bubbling underneath, which is more important than the shrinkage, actually. There's no rusting starting underneath the uh, vinyl top, which is really common on some of these cars. This car has none, absolutely no indication of it, none. Door handle, just as it was when it was new. Whiskers on the back window, the uh, same way as the front, original, do not need replaced, very, very nice. Drip edge molding, and you're not going to see it, but I can hardly feel it, but if you look at the right angle, there are two little tiny marks there. There is one that you will see right here on this piece of trim around the window. It's a thing from something, I don't know, mom's broom must have fell against it or something, but it, it, there is a little thing on that piece of aluminum. Uh, uh, trim. Down the quarter panel, uh, original feeling quarter panels, I mean there's no there's no bondo or anything in them, it, but it's all tin. Down the sides, I haven't found a marker or stone chip yet either by the way, still looking though. Uh, Yanko Deuce designation on the back really adds a lot of character to this car, a lot. Let's see if we can go around the back end and find something there. Okay, around the back of our Yanko style Nova, uh, you can see the deck lid fits just as the hood does. I mean, it's really, really a nice fitting, as precise as you could possibly get for a 69, or any Nova for that matter, doesn't matter what year it is. Paint on the back mimics that of the hood, just as nice and clean and clear as can possibly be. Yanko designation, which would be correct for a uh, 6970 uh, Yanko Deuce. Chrome on the bumper, you can see, is just absolutely gorgeous. The taillight lenses, backup lights, and basils appear to be replaced and brand new, both sides. There's no cloudiness whatsoever to them. Nice dual exhaust system with slash cut uh, stainless tips out the back. Uh, adds a lot of character to the car. There's absolutely nothing on the back of this car that you could complain about, absolutely nothing. Even the fitment of this back bumper is, it's precise. It's very, very good. Okay, let's see if we can find something on the uh, passenger side of our Yanko Nova. Side marker light the same way as the other ones, just all nice and clean. Drop downs, all tin, nice as the way it's supposed to be. Around the back window, which I neglected to say on the other side, there are no marks on this trim whatsoever, absolutely none. Tinted window in the back, hat shelf as it was when it was brand spanking new. There's no uh, cloudiness to it or no fading, no nothing. I mean, it's just as nice as it was when it was new. Trim around the uh, vinyl top, the same as it was on the other side, just as nice as can be. And it is the original vinyl top, there's no question about that. Paint down the sides, quarter panel fitment to the door, absolutely exemplary. Just as nice as you'd ever, ever want to find one. Uh, drip edge, the same as it was on the other side, you know. Except this one doesn't have two little tiny dinghies in it. This is just as nice as can be. Trim around the windows. The other one had a ding. This one does not. This side is absolutely flawless. I don't see one deviation from anything on this side. Again, the whiskers, original and still absolutely do not need replaced. They are original. Chrome on the door handle, same as the other one, just as nice as can be. Door fitment, rocker panel, front fender, the same as it was on the other side. Oh, correct oval antenna on this car too. The original 1969 antenna that came with this car. Yanko designation on the front. Going across the front of the vehicle, there's absolutely nothing, just the same as it was on the other side. This car is as nice a, a Nova as you're going to find. I haven't found a single stone chip anywhere or a mark. 
looking down both sides, it's laser straight, the fitment of the doors, the trunk, the hood, everything, it can't be any better than it is. Do have a right hand mirror also, by the way, tinted glass on this side to match the other side, except for the windshield. Torque thrust style wheels, you have a 69 Yanko that looks like a 70 LT1 Yanko car. Everything in this car depicts itself to be a 1970 Yanko 370 horse LT1 engine car. And it's also a four speed. We're going to show you that in a minute. And you can get it here at Hangsters, and it's an absolute knockout car. Okay, we're in the interior of our 1969 Yanko, Yanko style Chevy Nova. Black interior. Basic deluxe interior in the car. The headliner is just as new as can possibly be, which you'll see from Rich's uh, still photos of the car. No cracks in the steering wheel, the correct steering wheel for the car. A Chevrolet tachometer in the car. These cars were very basic cars from the factory. They didn't come with a lot of instrumentation, so you kind of had to add it. This one has a tachometer. It does have an oil pressure gauge and an auxiliary water temperature gauge. <clears throat> The dashboard itself is as clean and nice and fresh as can be. The lens over the uh, speedometer is just as new as it could be, not cloudy whatsoever. It does have the original AM radio in the car, the way it would have come in 1969. Dash pad is nice. Everything on the car is nice. Your, your windshield moldings are, are just as they were when they were new. Paint underneath the dash is not scraped or marked or anything. The carpeting is nice and clean and clear. Door panels are the original door panels and they're just as nice as can possibly be they have the original white marks on them uh, there's there's just absolutely nothing in this interior original headrest too by the way these are the original headrests that came with the car um, not aftermarket ones so it gives a lot of credence to being a, a quite an original car interior and exterior with one repaint on the outside key to the whole operation though is check this out three pedals we got a four speed LT1 with a four speed in a little Nova. How much tire do you want to put down? This is a great car. You'll have an absolute blast with it. Hi, Al at uh, Daytona Hangsters. And um, <laughs> again, this thing's really a blast, let me tell you. I had this out uh, a day ago and uh, laid into this thing, and I had no idea what it was until I, until I stood in it. It's definitely at least an LT1 under this thing and a little uh, Chevy Nova that looks like a, a Yanko car. But even over and above all that, double A-arm, brand spanking new chrome molly front suspension, huge anti sway bar with Zerk fittings on it. Looks like an Ebok, I'm not sure who's the manufacturer, but it is. Brand new shocks in the front, brand new springs in the front, new rotors, new calipers, new hardware. New steering box, new pitman arm, new ball joints, new spindles, new idler arms. I did say steering box, didn't I? Yeah, new steering box. The motor's chained down and there's a reason for that too. When you hammer second gear in this thing, it, it does everything except leave the highway. Looks like inch and five-eighths long tube headers give you a lot of mid-range torque, a lot of tail bend too. Doesn't hurt it a bit. Nice deep pan. It's at least a six quart. It looks like it's a Corvette pan, to be honest with you, so it's probably baffled. I don't know for sure. I can't see through it. M22 Muncie four speed transmission. Hearst linkage. All the, our, the, the linkage rods are all really nice. Nice, smooth, shifting transmission in this car. Subframes are absolutely gorgeous. No dents, no marks, no jack marks or anything on them. Floorboards are original. They definitely have not been replaced on this car. Pinch welds onto the uh, rocker panels on both sides and they're very, very evident yet. Not a problem distinguishing them. Uh, the uh, front end of this car is just nice and tight and new. The suspension is a modern day uh, suspension system that makes the car handle just like a newer, a newer Camaro or a new Mustang would, you know, in this case Camaro or GM car. Two and a quarter inch pipes 
uh, transitioning out of the uh, collectors of the headers, heading toward the rear, two Flowmaster mufflers that are absolutely as new condition, which you'll see in a second here. Again, the structural supports on the floor pans themselves, which are the originals, have absolutely no marks whatsoever on them. Parking brake assembly uh, still intact and functional on this particular car. Halfway through the car, there's not a mark on the subframes, on the floor pans, on the substructures, on the rocker panels, nothing. This car is as new a one as you could find. We've got a real nice one here. Okay, let's do the other half of our uh, Yanko style Nova. Again, Flowmaster mufflers, you can see they're brand spanking new. Multi-leaf rear suspension. Floor pans in the back of this car are just as clean and nice as the rest of the uh, floor pans toward the front. Undisturbed, original, no marks, no dings, no nothing, no deterioration whatsoever. Drum brakes in the back, of course, we did go over the discs out front. Uh, two and an eighth inch pipes transitioning out of the uh, Flowmaster mufflers. New U-joints. Staggered chocks. That's an indication that this thing was, that and the multi-lease was probably a real SS car uh, to start life as anyway. And also we got a 12-volt uh, Chevy rear. So th this is all indicative of a real uh, super stock, super sport car to begin life. Uh, Subframes in the back are just as nice and clean as the front ones. No jack marks or anything on the uh, spring shackles or the uh, torque boxes on this vehicle. I don't see a single thing. Uh, definitely a heavy duty 12 volt rear end in it. Original gas tank. I found a mark. There's a ding in the gas tank on the passenger side. Yeah, it looks like somebody might have got mad and gave it a good little whack with their knuckles. That's about it. Uh, the uh, rear of the car, the uh, substructure uh, toward the rear behind, well, be in front of the uh, rear bumper. Um, all the spot welds are evident. The uh, substructure uh, for the trunk is all nice and clean and crisp the way it should be. Subframes, there's no marks or bends or anything uh, with them toward the rear of the car. Chrome exhaust extensions, stainless exhaust extensions off the back with a slash cut on them. And again, brand new shocks in the rear, staggered, of course, you know, for a torque bias on this vehicle. This car is as new underneath as it is on top. Uh, it's a fantastic car. Uh, the, the car runs incredible. It's an incredible running car. It uh, uh, does everything you'd ever expect from a uh, LT1 style, real LT1. Uh, type Yanko Nova. This car absolutely gets the job done. When you take, when you stand in this thing and start hammering gears in it, it really comes to life. Heck of a car. It's available here at Hangsters, and you're going to have a blast in this one.